My name is Ben Edgerton, and I have a restaurant in East Austin. It's called Contigo. We have a ranch in South Texas called Contigo Ranch, and we spent a lot of time down there. But growing up, we didn't we didn't live there. We were in San Antonio. We'd go down once or twice a month. It was a really unique way to grow up because while we were in the city, we had space, and my dad always had animals. Um, I've probably had almost every kind of animal as a pet at some point. Growing up with as much space and freedom as I did, I think taught me uh, to kind of live outside the, the boundaries of, of uh, restraint. And then beyond that, going down to the ranch as much as, as, as we did, we didn't have a staff. There was no ranch manager. It was, uh, if something needed to be fixed, we were fixing it. We were, we were out working on fences. We were uh, doing whatever needed to be done. And I think I've, I've taken that with me into, just throughout my life, uh, in understanding that there's a lot of hard work that goes into, into life. And uh, you learn not to shy away from it. You learn to appreciate it. Uh, and you learn valuable lessons that, that kind of just stick. The ranch influence over the restaurant from an operational standpoint is less than it is from a philosophical standpoint. When possible, we utilize some products from the ranch. You know, we've used some produce that my parents have grown. We have an apiary. We get honey from the ranch and use that as much as we can. Um, but by and large, it's the spirit of the place. The way it looks, the way it feels when you're sitting here, and the way that you're treated by, by the, the staff and by the people. Contigo wouldn't be what it is without a lot of other people. Um, I probably would have ended up with a big outdoor concept that served hot dogs and hamburgers, kind of like a concession stand. I mean, that was actually my idea, if it weren't for teaming up with, with Andrew, who's amazing, and actually turned this into a real restaurant. Andrew has cooked all over the world, and that influences his dishes. All of our meat is, is sourced locally. We get whole animals in, by and large, uh, whole pigs, whole chickens, whole rabbits, and we butcher them in-house and, and use everything that we possibly can. The level of quality that I want out of the experience is the way that Andrew approaches his food. He puts his stamp on every dish and it needs to be prepared with, with care and it needs to be prepared with the right ingredients. It's, it's a pretty simple philosophy. The mission statement is to provide the best outdoor dining experience in Austin. How we do that is through hospitality, first and foremost. We're a restaurant built around community, and we try to facilitate that community through hospitality. And when I'm able to see people experiencing their friends, their coworkers, their family in that rich way, that's probably what I'm most proud of. To pursue a dream, to go down a path, of your own vision. It takes a level of complete abandonment to reason or logic. Um, you have to be willing to do what's uncomfortable and do the things that don't make sense and just say it's, it's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna try it. I don't look at this right now as that I've arrived at anything. It's more like I hope to be pursuing this dream for the next 30 or 40 years, and I'm one year in. I'm one year into a lifelong career.